Good morning, guys. We are in Brasov, Romania, but we decided to take a day trip. The great thing about Brasov is how close it is to some of the beautiful mountain towns in the country. We're at the train station here, about to hop on a train to Sanaya. Sanaya is about an hour train ride from Brasov, but we're taking the journey very early in the morning because the crowds roll in later in the day. So while the train system here in Romania isn't the most luxurious, so to speak, it is very affordable. For instance, our tickets were only 32 Romanian lei, which is about $6.60 total for both of us to take a train ride from Brasov to Sanaya. We're taking the 7.30 a.m. train, and the reason we're doing that is because I looked online and the 8.30 train and the 9.30 train are basically completely booked up, but the 7.30 train had a ton of open spots available, which suggests that a lot of people are gonna get there mid-morning instead of early morning when it opens. There are crazy long queues at Pillish Castle. So our goal is to be there in line when it opens up. So the train station here in Sanaya is at the mouth of the town and it's about a 30 minute walk from the train station to Pelish Castle, which is kind of the highlight for today as of now. Yeah, see, it's okay. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> but there are beautiful things to see along the way. How are we feeling, Hannah? I'm so excited. Up first is the Sanaya Casino. It was completed in 1912 and became a main attraction here between the two world wars. After the communist takeover in the 1940s, the gambling was unfortunately closed and the building's now become an international conference center, which is kind of a bummer to me because I'd love to go inside, but I'd, I know it's closed today. So maybe they offer tours. If you know, get down in the comments and let us know. How freaking cute is this place? I mean... <laughs> These places aren't super far away from each other, but they are uphill. So get ready to sweat a little bit, depending on when you're here. It's pretty cool right now, but bring your walking shoes. See, uphill. Just past the Sinai Casino is the Sinai Monastery. This monastery dates back over 300 years and borders the road up to Pelish Castle. There are two churches in the monastery dated apart by about 150 years. The old monastery was built in 1695 and the new church was constructed in 1846. This monastery is the oldest monument in Sinai and is one of the most important religious monuments in Southern Romania. These flowers look fake. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. They're real, I can confirm. It's basically uphill from Sinai Monastery to Pelish Castle. On that note, we have seen a few taxis go straight up, and so it looks like you could get dropped off by a taxi. There's some parking available at the top of the hill before you get to the castle. I imagine that parking lot fills up pretty fast, and there's probably one down at the bottom of the hill too, just in case for overflow. You excited? This is amazing. This it's is like, one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been. I can't handle this. I see it. You do? I see it. We finally made it up to Pelish Castle. This is widely considered one of the most beautiful castles in all of Europe because of its German neo-Renaissance architecture. It's said that in August 1866, King Carol I visited the area and fell in love with the mountainous landscape, and it's pretty easy to see why. He made the decision to build his castle here, which began in 1873 and completed seven years later. This served as the royal family's summer residence until 1947. The castle is 34,000 square feet in size and has 168 rooms, with a lot of the rooms having dedicated themes from other world cultures. Every bit of the castle design is so intricate and ornate. The king definitely had a grand vision of what he wanted this place to become. Could you make this place work? Oh my gosh, 95% of the photos now on my phone are of this place. Do you think this is in the top five of the castles that we've seen this year? Oh yeah, it's the scenery, it's the surroundings, yeah. like that's what makes it. It's beautiful, so hidden away too. You can barely hear, you can't hear any noise except the rushing water here. It's so beautiful and peaceful and I'm never leaving. 
She said that it's very quiet and peaceful, but that's only because we are here basically as it opens up. If you come here later in the day, it's gonna be absolutely slammed. There's gonna be people everywhere and noise everywhere. So if you want to experience this place at its most authentic, then come in the morning, take the early train from Brasov or Bucharest. Just get here as early as possible. I do think even when we got here, there was a lot of people in there. You can see from the footage that there was no chance of us like getting in a room by ourselves. Absolutely not. Like there were people everywhere. If you come to Pelish Castle and you don't want to pay the 100 lei for two people, then you can still walk around the grounds, which is kind of what we're going to do at our next stop. The one good thing about this area is you're going to get two castles instead of just one. Right next to Pelish Castle on the same grounds is Pelishore Castle. The king built this smaller castle as a home for his nephew and future king Ferdinand. We're not going to go into it since it costs money to enter and we've already spent money on the entrance to Pelish Castle, but it's free to walk around the gardens. I think it's important to also note that you can do this place on a budget. If you don't want to pay to go into Pelish Castle, it's still free to walk around the grounds. There's beautiful little bubbling brooks and fountains and all kinds of cool stuff. We're grabbing lunch before we go on a bit of an epic journey later. I'm so excited. Oh, that's fast. Oh my God. Here's a hint. Trey is not gonna love it. In the meantime, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and refuel before probably the craziest thing we'll do all day. We had a bit of an eventful ending after lunch. We found out that you can't book a train back to Brasov within six hours on some of the later trains. So our only option to book a train is the 2.30 train. And it's currently 11.30, so we have about three hours to do what we were wanting to do. And it takes 30 minutes to get there. We're here. All right, I guess I'm stuck now. I'm so excited. I'm so happy for you. Just level. I level. It slipped kind of slow. Oh, here we go. No, it's don't up say a bit. slow. It's picking up a little it's bit. Oh, now here we go. swinging. All right, Lord have mercy. No problem. It ain't no problem. This is horrible. I'm just enjoying the view. Oh, God. It's okay. What am I doing? Yeah, I should have sat on your side. I thought so. Yeah, this is your your side is a sight to behold. Oh, it's so quiet. This is so cool! So this year is all about pushing ourselves and getting out of our comfort zone. So I heavily debated doing this, but I'm kind of glad that I did because it's quiet, it's peaceful. For the most part, it's smooth up until we cross over those little pole thingies over behind me. Look how close the ground is right there. Yeah, it's so close. Yeah, see? It's okay. <laughs> What are those? <laughs> I don't love those. Anyways, I'm so happy we did this because this is exciting. It's a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. Are we closing in on a pole? No. Oh, this is so bumpy. This mountain gondola has two different stops. You can stop once at the 1400 meter point and then once at the 2000 meter point. So we did the 2000, we did the 2000 meter range and we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna see what it's like. It's gonna be high. I know that. My ears popped twice already, so. I'd love to see a bear. That'd be cool. Yeah. These mountains are supposedly crawling with brown bears, so I was really hoping that we'd see one, but I, I mean, we're in such a touristy location. You're doing so good. Thank you so much. My hands are so... It's okay. Why are we bouncing so much? I just love the tree line. It's such a nice tree line. That's... We are so high. We are at the top of the tree line, fam. I see the tops of the trees, and I don't like that. Oh, here's the first gondola station. Are you train. serious? Yes, you Yay. did it! There's the first one. We're done. Slow down! <laughs> you go first. Go ahead. Whoa. Made it to the 1400 meter point. I handled it so gracefully and uh i'm looking at the 2000 one and it just goes straight up look at this thing Sheesh. as it just dropping off down the trail couldn't be me let's get it let's go three two one blast off let's not blast off let's slow off 
Nice and slow. Nice and steady. That's fast. Whoa, that's fast. Oh my god. I know it looked like a chicken butt, guys, but I, I, I need you to know that I'm totally okay with that. Oh, Lord, it goes so much higher than that other gondola we were talking about. This is so much higher. And we're swinging. Oh, my God, there's a valley. It's okay. You're looking for a view behind me. This is what we're working with. And we're doing real good. It was only 600 more meters than where we were, so... I just... I just so the reason why I'm doing this and why I decided to do this was because back in January we did the Caminito del Rey hike and I said if that got 100 likes then I would go ahead and do something else that was kind of crazy that would push my fear of heights. So uh, thank you very much for liking that video and uh, putting me in this position. <laughs> thank you very much. But yeah, and while you're watching this video go ahead and leave a like for me because I would appreciate it. Uh, I'd make all of this a little a little worthwhile. Open this thing and let me out of here. Oh my gosh. We are literally in the clouds. Really high up. We talked about hiking it. <laughs> that would have been funny. It is beautiful up here though. Um, and it's nice and flat. The ride is just scary. I mean, if you're scared of heights, then the ride's not gonna be a ton of fun. How are you feeling, Hannah? I'm like, I'm, my head's in the clouds. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> All right guys, this is the perfect place to sign it off. As you can see, Sanaya is one of the most beautiful towns you're gonna find in Eastern Europe. And while I absolutely hate heights with every fiber of my being, I knew I'd regret not doing this. If you're gonna plan a trip to Romania, you have to add this mountain town to your itinerary. You won't regret it. See ya. So I've been sticking my thumb out just in case somebody is nice enough to come pick us up. Point four, point more. We've never hitchhiked. Brad, I, it's not like I'm wanting this to happen. I promise you. 